Hey guys, what is going on? It is Sam. In today's video, I am very excited to be able to show you how to jailbreak iOS 7.0.6 using a new version of Evasion 7. Now, a couple months ago, I showed you how to jailbreak iOS 7.0.4 using Evasion. Now, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 7.0.6. So to do this, all you need is an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, a Mac or PC computer, and then of course, 15 minutes of your time. So first of all, before we even start to think about jailbreaking, go ahead and plug your phone into iTunes and back your device up because in case anything would go wrong, there's a very slight chance that something would go wrong. But first, you want to make sure you are backed up to your computer. If you do have a passcode lock set up on your device, that means you are required to enter your password before you unlock your device. You want to make sure that is turned off and you have no passcode set, otherwise that may cause a problem with the evasion jailbreak. Next up, you have to restore to iOS 7.0.6 if you haven't already. So for example, if you were on your iPhone yesterday and you updated to iOS 7.0.6 through the settings app, you're going to have to restore through iTunes on your Mac or PC because updating through the over-the-air update system can cause an issue with the evasion jailbreak. And then once you have restored, go ahead and just use your backup to get all your apps and contacts back in your phone. And basically, you're just about ready to jailbreak. You just want to make sure that you're done syncing with iTunes. So before you start the jailbreak, which I'll show you how to do in a second, you want to be closed out of iTunes. Now you want to go to the link in the description. It will be iUpdateOS.com slash evasion-7. Click on that. It will shoot you over to my link and on a website where you can download the Evasion 7 utility fast and easy. Once you have downloaded it from there, go ahead and launch it from your desktop. Now you may get an error on Mac saying this is not from a verified developer. You just want to go ahead and right click, then click open, and then you'll have to click open just one more time if you were on a Mac. It should open up right away if you're on a PC. And from here, go ahead and just plug in your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Keep in mind that if iTunes does launch when you do that, go ahead and just close iTunes and you are ready. Hit that button, hit the jailbreak button. As long as it says your device is supported and your firmware is supported, you can hit jailbreak and the process will begin immediately. It'll say all these random words on the screen, but don't get confused, don't get scared. Whatever you do, do not unplug your device or touch your computer during this process. Just kind of leave it sit here like I've got mine sitting on a dock or just leave it connected with its lightning cable or 30 pin. Just whatever you do, don't touch it. Don't answer any text messages. Just leave it sit there so that nothing gets messed up. Now about halfway through the process, the Evasion 7 jailbreak will ask you to unlock your device and go ahead and tap the new Evasion 7 icon. It will usually be located on whatever page you have free space on, but look around until you find it. Just tap it one time and then don't touch your device anymore after that. That's the only user action on your device that you need to do. So basically, that is the hardest part of the entire Evasion 7 jailbreak. All you had to do was unlock and click an icon. It really wasn't that bad, I don't think so. But anyway, it's just a couple more steps to go before it's done. And as soon as your computer says that you can click that done button, go ahead and just click out of the done button on the Evasion jailbreak on your computer. However, you want to leave your iPod sit just where it is. Don't try to mess with anything. Don't try to power it off. Just let it boot up. You'll see the Evasion logo. It'll say installing a bunch of stuff. That's all normal. You're going to want to see that. Just make sure you don't touch anything with your iPod. Of course, you can hold it. Just don't touch any buttons. Now, once your device is booted up, you're going to see an iPhone just as normal. You'll see the lock screen. Go ahead and slide to unlock, but somewhere on your device, you're going to see this icon called City, and that is where all the fun starts. Go ahead and locate it and then launch it, and it will say preparing file system. Now, this takes about two minutes depending on the speed of your device. It'll probably be a little bit faster if you have an iPhone 5 or 5S. So just be patient. It's going to say preparing file system. Just wait for that to be done. I'm going to speed it up once again and cut the video to where I have resprung and I'm back on my lock screen. Go ahead and just slide to unlock one more time and then go back. Back to City, it's going to ask you if you're a user, developer, or hacker. You want to click user because you can get some pretty crazy internal stuff if you click any of the other two. So click user and then click done. And Shazam, you have installed City on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. You have successfully jailbroke your device. So guys, that is how you can successfully jailbreak iOS 7.0.6 on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. If you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you took the time to click that like button. If you want to see more stuff related to jailbreaking, go ahead and feel free to subscribe to my channel, I Update OS. So once again, I hope you did enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.